Hello folks, I'm here in my Model 3 today and it's been ages since I filmed something about this car. Today we're doing a massive unboxing. New mats please. So if you've been following any of my other Tesla videos, you'll know I've got a bit of a mix of mats, liners and protective covers in this car. I've got some liners in the boot, the underfloor storage, the front and also some rubber mats replacing the proprietary carpet mats that you get from Tesla in the cabin. So today I'm going to replace all of those with these top quality mats from Tesla fans. So as we can see, we're in the depths of winter now in the UK and my current mats have taken a bit of abuse lately. All these cabin mats are super dirty and covered in mud and grime from various trips we've been on lately. So first job is getting this car cleaned and then we're going to give all of these mats a good clean too. Now we can see that even though at the time I was happy with this boot liner it's clearly not a great fit and since I put it in it has ridden up from the boot lip quite a bit with a lot of dirt getting trapped there and the less said about these poor fitting front mats the better. So let's get these boxes open and we'll install these new mats. So let's start with the biggest box and this contains the boot or trunk mat and this manufacturer uses TP material from the Swedish Hexpol brand which also happens to be Volvo's preferred supplier for raw materials. Now fun fact, this material was originally used to make baby pacifiers so it's not only really strong but it's also healthy and environmentally friendly. And we can see from installing this one how precise the fit is. Tesla fans use 3D laser scanning to make the mold, so the fit is incredibly snug. Now check this out in the boot, you can even have a little gap for the leather pull that releases the underfloor storage. Really nice. So let's take a look at some of the other mats that are included in this full set. Let's get rid of this badly fitting cheap rubber front mat I put in a little while ago. Here is the Tesla fans version, and you can see how accurate this fit is. It just drops in and you've got all the edges covered. Now it might seem a bit odd to put a cover in the front but I quite like having something to stop my cables and other accessories rattling around in here. And next up we have the underfloor storage and again I had a pretty ill-fitting cheap liner in there and this one from Tesla fans fits like a glove. Now I tend to keep either my original granny charger or sometimes wet mats or boots or coats etc stored in there so it's good to know that these aren't gonna mess with the carpet floor in here. And then let's fit the cabin mats. This is the passenger side, looking good. And the driver side too, a really nice snug fit. And you can see in this shot, the mats have these big scoops that ride up the side. So if you do happen to be getting in with wet shoes or something gets spilled down there, the mats will contain the water and you can just empty it out and clean them off without the moisture getting into the carpets in the cabin. And then finally, the rear seats. Now for us, these are the ones that probably take the most damage with our two little ones sitting back here and clambering around with muddy boots on and I'm super confident with these new mats they're going to offer tons of protection to help keep things looking smart in there. So overall I'm so happy with this high precision fit and the clean look that these mats offer. Now around this time of year it's so good to have some high quality all weather mats that are going to stop your car from getting ruined with snow, rain and mud from the elements. Now this entire set usually retails for just under £200 but if you follow the link in the description you can access a 15% discount from absolutely everything in their online store and a huge thank you to the Tesla fans team for making that possible. And folks if you enjoyed this one please let me know with a like and if you want to see more like this maybe even a cheeky subscribe. Now if you come back soon I will be posting my one year review of owning this car and you may be surprised at some of the conclusions I've reached. I'll see you next time.